What's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video and today I'm out here in Liverpool. I'm filming for that series, the best places to shop. I've done this for Leeds and Berlin. I'll leave the links in the comment section down below. But if you're new to my channel, it's basically a series where I go to each city and I show like the best independent clothing stores. I show you the close-ups to the clothing brands in there and a variety from vintage streetwear, sneaker stores. But anyways, let's get into it. The first store I want to talk about it is called The Outsider Store. This is actually a new store in Liverpool. It's a very contemporary brand. It sells some stuff such as like North Face, Patagonia, Clarks, Weavers, there's New Balance, Dickies, so Trousers. Everything is just high quality. Uh, not so much flexing and branding, but just very, very high quality. And the store layout is very, very minimal. So let's take you inside. As you can see, we have the hat collections, we have the North Face, we have the Fall Raven, and we also have the Patagonia trucker caps, we have a load of magazines, we have the standout North Face, we have the bucket hats, perfectly for the festival season, and we also have these crazy coats, the North Face patches there, kind of similar to the North Face TNF, but some of these are mad, but that colorway is so, so nice, quality is amazing. And then as we lead you further down, we have like, see what I mean, it's like high-end menswear stuff, we have like wallets, we have watches, and then we have the bags, we have the socks, we have some of the shoes. These are Clarks, man. These things are honestly so comfy. My girlfriend wears the Clarks, and man, these shoes are so underrated. Especially the Clarks weavers, man. They can you make your dresses up smart as well as casual as well. And then further on, we have some of the New Balance 574s. These are just an iconic shoe. This is one of the main New Balance models. These are some new shoes. I've actually never seen these before. Kind of look similar to the Nike Mayfly Wovens, but these are very nice sandals. Another cool thing about the store is that like, the clothes are kind of mixed between like streetwear as well as like the outdoors and also it's in a prime location. It's right next to Liverpool Central, so the train station and it's also right next to Bowl Street where all the vintage shops are. So next up it is a brand called Lost Art. It's probably the most popular independent skate store in Liverpool. I just went to their old store and it's actually gone and apparently it's relocated to a pizza shop. I think this is the one but I've honestly never been so let's go inside and check it out. Excuse me, man. Do you know where that's the Lost Art store is? Uh, in the bar, there's a white dog. Press the buzzer. Send it up. Sweet. Thank you very much. As you can see, literally the whole wall is covered in skateboard decks. We've got some like anime ones right here, we've got some film ones, we've also got some retro football ones here, and then we have the Palace Triferg ones or the Chewy Cannon Palace, Lucy and Clark, these are all different skateboarders. You can literally see that all over the wall. Some crazy pieces right here. So over here we've got a few of their graphic tees and graphic sweatshirts. We've got the standard print right there. We also have some rugby tops. Oh, right there. This one is honestly sick. It's an Asian anime one. This one like the skateboard deck before. This is an anime. And then the standard, if you like their Lost Art box logo, it's just right here. There's some little art in the background. And then we just have quarter zips and extra hoodies. And we also have coaches jackets as well. Lost Art coaches jackets. this cabinet right here we have a few more accessories we have like socks we have headbands so a few stickers posters and then for all the skateboarders out there we have the skateboard parts i don't know these skateboard parts but if you're a skateboarder then you'll know all these little pieces and then coming around to this side we have a projector showing the b-roll of the, basically the skateboard lost out of a skateboarding team and here's a b-roll of the clips and then last but not least we've just got some more t-shirts more box logos a load of variety of colorways long sleeve polos we've got hoodies, just a nice crocodile embroidery, and just some embroidery on the hood. So we're currently outside a vintage store, it's called Resurrection. They sell a mixture of vintage stuff as well as brand new stuff. A few brands that they sell are the brand new stuff. They sell like the Carhartt, they have a massive range of Carhartt. They do like Fila, they also do like Nike SB. They sell shoes, track jackets, sweatshirts. And then coming on to the vintage side, we have like the vintage wavy shirts that you wear on holiday. We have vintage track jackets, vintage sweatshirts, literally all the vintage clothes you can get. They also do a huge student discount as well. Anyways, let's go inside. So 
Another crazy thing about this store is two stories high. Upstairs you've got the women's there for all your women watchers out there. You can come upstairs and here. And also what's crazy is there's a hidden coffee shop as well as a hidden hairdresser so you can get cheap cuts, cheap coffee and you also have a sick view of all the so about a minute walk up the road from Resurrection, we have the shop called Soho. On the outside, it looks like a vintage shop, like a fancy dress store, but there's a hidden shop inside. A load of you lot would not heard of it. There's no sign outside. Basically, when you go upstairs, there's a hidden shoe shop. So this store is called Trans Alpino. It sells a load of vintage sneakers, kind of a hip store, football casual. We have a load of Adidas sneakers as well as Diodora, and they also sell their own clothing range, as we show right here. This wall in the shop is unbelievable. Basically, it's all the archive shoes. Some of the shoes go way back from the 1970s, and even some of this one right here is from the 1960s. And the reason why you know it doesn't have the Adidas brand on the back, that's something that started in the 1970s. So this is such an archive shoe. It's been through, they're pretty beat, but obviously some of these pieces are so rare, like it'll be so hard to even find some of these shoes anymore. All the price points are here. They usually have like one size of each because they're such archive pieces. Yeah. 1980s. Back and bow, mate. 1996. Something just yeah, something like that. 2014 and 1970s. Uh, nothing or nothing. Nothing. Is that you one of the first ones to get the ideas on the back then? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, they're about, well, not they're about, yeah, about 1973 or something. How are they in such good condition, some of them, about how long they've been? Them yeah, restore them all, yeah, yeah to yeah. clean them and everything. Yeah. It's what we treat them with alcohol, yeah. <laughs> So then how, how many sizes do you get each of them in? Just a f whatever. I whatever you can get them in? Yeah, whatever. It's, you know, obviously it's fine to get the popular sizes. Yeah. Too. And what would you say is the most popular shoe? Did you say <coughs> LA's? Or the, cause that has been popular. Yeah, LA's. Big range in them, yeah. haven't we? I've never seen them with this sole, to be fair. Yeah. Crazy grip on that. Everyone's got their own favourites, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine was definitely the best I'll So a few doors down from Resurrection, we have another vintage shop. On the right hand side, we have Cow. It's like Resurrection, it sells vintage champion, Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph Lauren, menswear and women's wear. And then on the left hand side, we have Giancarlo Ricky. This is the high end store, it sells like Y3, Versace, Machino, Michael Kors, Stone Island. The list goes on and it's two floors of everything. Unfortunately, the managers wouldn't let us film in these stores, but I just had to show you them. So right now we're inside Pop Boutique. If you're a subscriber to my channel and you watch my best place shop in Leeds, you would have known that I just did a Pop Boutique there. Basically, this is a vintage store again, but it's a big chain. It's got it in the big cities, which is like London, Liverpool, Manchester. Basically, I'll show you around a few of the pieces. For this section, the first bit when you come in, it's the wavy track jackets. Some of those brands, such as like this Adidas one right here. Actually, that's actually, that's actually well nice. <laughs> uh, got some of the vintage archive ones. That is crazy back print. So all this for like the festival season, house parties, etc. It's a variety of different colors. Then on top we just got some vintage trainers, we've got Adidas, we've got Lacoste, we've got Nikes, which are random from LA's right here. All battered second hand, but if you want to go for that vintage look, then that's what you love. Next wheel we just got the t-shirts, we've got a variety of brands and they're at a cheap price point as well. We've got like the Champion College ones, we've got the Adidas Sport ones, we've even got stuff like Disney ones, Disney Mickey Mouse, every single colour, every single size, literally you just find something different that no one's going to have as well. And then now they have a huge, huge selection of wavy shirts. As I mentioned in my summer streetwear essentials, Hawaiian and wavy shirts are what you need for summer and we have some crazy ones right here. This turquoise one right here, very, very summery. Man, they're just a mad selection, so you've got a variety of colours and then moving on we have more of the Festa ones, just colours, patterns, everything you can ask for. As you move further along the store we have a variety of stuff, there's polo shirts, we have plaid shirts, we have Harrington jackets, camel jackets, leather jackets, suede jackets, and now we're going to move on to the city centre. So right now we're outside the store 7 in Liverpool, it's right in the Liverpool city centre, it's a new sneaker store, as you can see right here it has a crazy entrance and it has some unbelievable sneakers, it has like some stuff on the low end as well as the high end, the high end stuff we have like off-white, we have the new sneakers, we have sliders, we have also have like Y3s and we also have Raph Simmons and we also have the new Adidas trainers and coming on to the lower end stuff we have like Nikes, we have all the 97s, the 98s, we have some Air Force 1s, then we have like Puma, Reebok, Timberland, the list goes on but let's go inside.
box right here, you can see all the Y3 stuff right here. We have all the Y3 trainers. We also have the Y3 caps, the very higher end. Now on the other side, you can see we have a variety of different nights. We even have Jordans. So we've got the Jordan Cement 3s right here. We've also got the high-end Air Force 1s. And as we lead on further, we have some high-end designer shoes. And this is the whole off-white section. We've got the off-white high tops, even with the red treasury tag, like the off-white 10 by Virgil Abloh. And then we have these crazy sliders, which also pretty funny. On the right-hand shoe, they have the left, which is pretty funny. And then moving on, we have right here, so we have some Y3 clothing pieces. They have a few clothing pieces, not that many. You can see right here, crazy, crazy quality, all black. And then we also have the Y3 shoes to match it right here. And then leading on, so this is the full Nike section. We have the 98s everywhere, a variety of different colorways. We also have the new camo pack. And then coming on further, we have the TNs and we have the Air Max 97. They've even still got the gold bullets as well. These aren't the silver bullets, but they look very similar. And then turning around, we have some more off-white gear. We Crazy pair of orange Air Force One. These I've never seen them in person before. Got a crazy different tag on the back. They've got just do it patches. The tick kind of changes. You see it in the different light on both different sides. The two ticks and also got a little patch bit right there. there so when you come right to the back end side of the store, we've got this cool little setup here with the sale going around. All these shoes are on sale. We've got like Vans, we've got Reeboks, we've got Vans, we've got Asics, we've got Android Hummers. Literally got a variety of different brands, and you can get them all for different steals. Literally a variety of everything. So overall, that's a wrap. It's been a long day of filming. Huge thank you to all the stores in Liverpool that let me come in and film. The links and the addresses will all be in the description box below. If you ever come to Liverpool, please make sure to go check them out. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post two men's fashion videos every single week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. If you enjoyed this video too, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really goes a long way. Overall, have a nice day. Go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. So fucking relevant. Ugh, you're such a poser.